So, welcome everybody. Um, lovely summer's day in Scotland today, so I hope you're all enjoying this lovely weather um, and your pigs are keeping cool and content. Um, today's video is about the Teddy Breed Standard. Um, so the Teddy Breed Standard um, is what judges use to refer to um, to judge your pig against. So just like in dog showing, um, there's a set of um, ingredients, if you like, um, that the judge is looking to judge your pig against um, and if you get all the ingredients right in the correct proportions then you've got a winning pig basically. Um, so what I'm going to do is just walk you through the breed standard and interpret it for you and try and show you in a pig um, what that actually means. Um, so if you want to have a look at the um, breed standard for teddies or any other breed, um, they're all available on the British KV Council website. Um, really interesting information on there um, and it's really good to familiarise yourself um, with all that information. Um, so the first thing um, on the breed standard is about head, eyes and ear. Um, often referred to as H-E-E, -E. so if ever you were at a show and you're watching um, the steward, book steward writing down the comments from the judge, they'll often write H-E-E, -E, uh, which is always head, eye, ear. Um, so the standard says the head should be short and broad with gentle curving profile, the muzzle to be uh, good width and rounded at the nostrils. Um, so what you're looking for is a good width between the eyes. You're also looking at good width between the ears so the ears aren't sitting too high up on the head. Sorry, I'm tickling you. Um, and the muzzle um, should be rounded so a bit like a roman nose so when you look at the pig's profile if you've got a nice round, a rounded nose um and broadness and short there you get just a nice short face i don't know if you can see from baby sit still <laughs> she's not going to sit still um but yeah nice short face it's it's also um good to remember that um boars always have a pointier face than sows um so that's what you're looking for. Um, the eyes should have a nice bold eye. Um, it's hard to see on her because she's dark, but um, you just want a nice bold eye that complements the head, sits well in the head um, and isn't just a little dot. Um, you want it to be nice and bold. Um, often selfs have really nice eyes. The ears. Um, so what it says with the ears, they are to be large and drooping with the lower rim parallel to the ground and set with good width apart. So what you're looking for is, again, like I said, the good width between the ears so they're not sitting high up on the head. So you want them nice and low. Um, and you also want the the bottom rim there, I don't know if you can see on there, the bottom rim to be parallel to the ground. So she's got nice ears, nice droopy ears. And I say that bottom rim is parallel to the ground. If You can see what I mean. So that's the head, eye, ear. The body shape, um, to have short cobby body, thick set with good width across the shoulders. So the short cobby body basically means they should be a square in it, a brick. So they should have the same width of their hips as they should at their shoulders. Um, so she's slightly wide there and slightly narrow there. So she's not the perfect brick, um, but she's not far off. Often you get pigs that are very pear shaped. So they're very narrow on their shoulders and then they go really out. Um, so that's not the shape you're looking for. It's the compromise that you might have um, when you're showing your pig because they might have all the other ingredients, but they might not just have the shape, in which case, you know, it depends who they're going up against as to how well they do. Um, so that's your body shape. Um, they should be fit. Um, so in really good condition, um, you know, really good muscle, not flabby in any way. Um, good substance, again, which means they just should be healthy looking. They should feel like they're well fed and well looked after. Um, and they have plenty of firm flesh covering the shoulders. So again, over the shoulders, you want to have almost turn of that bait, almost that raise there, um, so that they don't dip in the shoulders. What you don't want to see is a dip in the shoulders. Um, she hasn't got the best shoulders, but you do want them to sort of go up and over over the shoulders, so that you can see that they've got good shoulders. Um, so that's what you're looking for there. So obviously as a coated breed, which the teddy is, your, your coat is um, what carries the most points. I apologise for that noise. One of the guinea pigs has decided they're going to drink from their bottle all the way through this video. Um, so coat, to have short raised coat of even length with a definite lie from rump towards the head. So as you can see, um, she's got a nice even coat. There's no bits that you stick out. It's even all the way along. Um, 
because of her colour, it's hard to see, but it, it does run that way. She's got good direction. And that's when, when the judges say, oh, good direction, they mean you can clearly see the hair goes that way. Um, so that's what they're looking for with that. Um, because the coat then goes that way, you end up with a, a cap there, which is what it's called, the teddy cap, um, because of that. So as yes, you can see, because her hair goes that way, you end up with a really nice cap there. Um, hence the Teddy Club logo, which is why they've got the cap on that. Um, so the appearance dense and even all over the body with no areas of flatness. So the density um, is the number of hairs per square inch. Um, so when they've got a lovely dense coat like she has, when you when you touch them, you can't see um, their skin because their, their, their coat is so dense and that tickles her as well. Sorry, baby. Um, so that's what you're looking for. Really nice density, even covering and no flatness. Um, so sometimes you get flatness on the sides um, because the coat goes the wrong way, um, but you want it to go that way all the way along. Okay, I'm going to sit that way for us. Um, the next bit says about guard hairs to be removed. Um, so the guard hairs are the longer hairs that you get. Um, and again, it's hard to see on this video, but can you just see that there's just a few hairs that are beyond the silhouette of the rest of her body. Um, so if she didn't have lockdown hair and she was groomed, um, you would actually take all those hairs out. Um, so I will do a video on how to groom a pig um, ready for showing, um, but that will be in the next video. Um, so that's your guard hairs, um, coat on the belly to be well covered. And this is something you get with um, big sows. Sorry, baby. Can you see that? Oh, hang on. I've got to angle my camera <laughs> yeah she's got a nice covering um is is what you're looking for is um so hair on the belly often with big sows they get bald patches on the tummy um so that's what you want to avoid um coat length to be no more than 1.2 centimeters again if they get too long a coat it it falls open um and you don't get that nice dense feel um, it just becomes more open and you see the skin so it doesn't have it just ruins the overall effect um, if it's too long um, it should also have that bouncy feel um, and I appreciate you can't see that from a video um, but when you touch a, a teddy they just have that bounce it, when you push down on the coat it bounces back at you um, so it's worth if you haven't been to a show before it's worth going to a show watching the judging and actually the judge won't mind in any way if you say, can I just have a feel of what that feels like? Um, because um, she's complaining, can you hear her? She doesn't like me doing that. Um, that's how you learn. Um, so go to some shows, talk to the judges, talk to the breeders, um, touch the pigs, um, and that's exactly how you learn. Um, so texture, to be plush but slightly harsh to the touch um, and to be clean and free from grease. Um, so yeah, so they're called teddies because they feel like a teddy bear. They have that plush feeling. Um, their coat is that slight texture of, um, they're not really soft. So you don't want them to be super soft, um, but you don't want them to be super harsh either. It's just having that balance again. Um, but again, the more teddies you feel, you know, the more ones that you see that I've done a lot of the winning, just go and have a feel of them um, and just talk to the owners and, and get a better understanding. Um, obviously, um, baby is a, um, a solid coloured pig. Um, so by solid, I mean, she is one colour. Um, colour doesn't carry any points when, um, judging, but it does determine, um, which class the teddies go into. So there is a solid class um, for one colour. There is a bi class for two coloured, um, tri class for three coloured and a roan. Roan is when you get a pig that has got coloured hair with white hairs intermingled, uh, really pretty. If you do have any questions um, or comments or you want to know more, um, then please do put your um, comments, questions um, below and um, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so yeah, so this is the latest video. The next one will be all about show prep. Um, so feel free to um, follow my channel and spread the word and let's get people really into teddies because they are just a great breed to own. Okay, thanks everybody. Goodbye.